Hi everyone. Just waiting a few minutes here to see if anybody signs on to see what I'm doing today. So the title of my post today is Changing Things Up. So there's my Ryan. So those of you that know me know that I'm pretty simple eater. I meal prep every week now and I make the same basic three, um, three or four meats a week. So one of the meats that I always make is um, ground turkey, and then I use it for meat sauce for the children, I use it for meatballs for the kids, I use it for tacos, I put it on top of my salads, I use it in lettuce wraps, but this week I got a little crazy, and I decided to get ground chicken. Woo, I'm wild, right? I love coffee. Oh, it needs a little bit more cream, hold on. I, swi I switched over to um, Almond Breeze. This one has 25 calories, Almond Breeze, Almond Cashew Blend. So it's pretty good, I like it. All right, so. The reason why I decided to change things up is I was at the supermarket and I said, how much ground turkey can one person and one family eat? So I opted for the um, chicken. And the chicken was on sale. So sometimes, you know, depending on where you're at, you have to just pick and choose things that are on sale. There's nothing wrong with that. You should get your local supermarket or wherever you shop flyer and see what they have on sale. You can stock up also. You know, if you're on a budget, you should be conscientious of your spending. So there's no reason why when that chicken goes on sale, bulk up on it. Okay, why not? I do. All right, so all I'm pretty much going to do here is season this with some salt and pepper. I'm going to put in... Maybe some oregano, some thyme, some basil. No, not basil. What am I talking about? Just whatever I really have in my cabinet. I just add to it. So this right here is just some um, chicken season. Pretty simple. I'll just sprinkle some on. Put it right in there. And that's it. I'm just going to fry it up for the week. After it's all done frying, it'll go in a container, just like this. And the reason why is because this way I can grab and go. I'll show you in, in my refrigerator what it looks like. So here we go. Let me open it up, and I'll show you the... All right, so right here. This one right here is my ground turkey. I made quite a bit last week. So it's left over, and... I will eat that today, tomorrow, maybe I'll freeze it, I'm not really sure. Oh, there are my prepackaged Shakeology bowls. There's all my lovely vegetables for the week. Okay, so back over to here. Let me turn you around. All right, so the thing about meal prepping is that while it might take you a little bit of time on a day like this, Right now, my kids are playing, we're done working out, I'm doing some work from home, and one of the things I'm going to do now is meal prep. I work full time, I'm an art teacher, for those that, don't, that didn't know, so it's important for me to have things that are easy, quick, and healthy. You know, I don't want to be one of those parents that just stop and pick up takeout every night. That's not what I want. I wasn't raised on that, and my children shouldn't have to be raised like that. If you take a little bit of time and a little bit of creativity, you certainly can meal prep for the week or almost the whole week. Now, I'm not saying that you can't splurge because in my house, every Friday is takeout pizza. There's no, there's no question about it. We go to the pizzeria, we get pizza. That's it. I'll show you my frying pan, not that you guys don't know how to fry meat, but that's it. 
my chicken's frying up. I will cook it in full. Then when I want to eat, I will just go to the refrigerator, take it out, and use my little containers Hi. Hi, people. right here, scoop it up, measure it, and then put it down for myself. And for my kids, now the ground turkey's all, hold on, all ready to go. They love the tacos. I'll show you what we have. Um, I'm looking for the tacos for them. Okay. Here they are. They're these little taco boats. So I just have to scoop this out, warm up the meat for them. The tacos, we put the lettuce, tomatoes, some onions on there, and a little bit of salsa, and my kids are set. Now if I'm in the mood, I will have a whole wheat wrap, or I'll just take lettuce um, and make little taco wraps out of the lettuce. So that's it, easy peasy. And for my kids also, I will make, hi whoever joined in, I will make um, pasta. I have this great pasta for them. I'll make them some pasta, and if I wanted the pasta, I would just measure out um, enough for myself, but pretty much I don't usually eat pasta. So they'll have this with some homemade tomato sauce, some of the chicken on top of it. I'll have it maybe with some brown rice. Also, if you're making um, tomato sauce, this tastes great in tomato sauce. Just giving you some healthy family ideas that you can make. And I hope you follow me. Comment below, let me know what you think. Give me some, some of your suggestions, some of the things you do for your family. All right, well, I wish all of you a very healthy and happy Sunday. Get out there if you can and get some sun. It's freezing here, I'm in New York, and it's like 30 degrees out, so there's no sunshine in my future. Well, the sun's out, but there's no outside. Right now, we just came back and we are relaxing. So I'm wishing you all a great Sunday afternoon. All right, bye everybody, see you soon.